Hello. So today in the session, we will be talking about searching for solutions. So when I talk about searching for solutions, we first have to look into what are the problems which we encounter usually in AI, uh, what exactly is problem spaces, and then we'll see how do we do searching in AI, and what, dif what are the different searching algorithms we have in AI. So when I talk about problems in AI, AI presents immense potential, but it also comes with several challenges and risk. So let us talk about what AI actually does in the beginning. So AI is the study of building agents that act rationally that we have seen in the last session. So most of the time, these agents perform some kind of search algorithm in the background in order to achieve their task. So today in the class, I would be talking about different search algorithms and their uses. So when I talk about AI, AI's initial goal is to build the machines that are capable of carrying out some task that usually, you know, uh, is enabled with human intelligence. So most of the core functions of AI in real time is about problem solving. So when we want to solve the problems, it's all about understanding problem, what are the problem spaces, what exactly is search, and what are the different search algorithms that are available, which serves as fundamental concepts to comprehend how AI systems actually handle and resolve challenging jobs in the current situation. So first, when we talk about problems in AI. So before we actually uh, talk about problems in AI, a problem is particularly a challenge. Okay. So when I talk about the challenge, when we carry on some task, when we face a challenge, we call that as a problem. So when I talk about problems in AI, that is all about the challenges that we face in decision making or solution finding. So in the context of AI, uh, when I talk about an issue or a problem, it is usually, uh, you know, uh, it usually occurs when there is a need for uh, descript when there is a need for solving the discrepancy when we carry a task. Okay, so these tasks can be anything from you know straightforward math problems to intricate decision making situations. So artificial intelligence encompasses various jobs and challenges from basic math operation to you know sophisticated applications like uh, image recognition, speech recognition, natural language processing, etc. So every problem will have a goal state. Okay, this is very important for you to know. So every problem has a goal state that must be attained with, with respect to some initial state and have some potential actions or moves. The three important points that I want you to concentrate here are the initial states, the goal state and the potential actions or moves. Okay, so let's see some important components of problems in AI. So when I talk about problems in AI and the components associated with it as discussed, so first we have initial state and then we have goal state and then we have operators and then we have restrictions, okay? So when I talk about each and every component in detail, let's talk about initial state. So this is nothing but the state of the issue as it first arises, okay? So whenever a problem arises in the beginning, Okay, so we, we, we take that problem into the first state, which is usually called as initial state. Okay, so once the idea is finalized, okay, so the idealized final state that actually solves this problem, okay, is considered to be a goal state. Okay, so once we are finalizing what exactly is the problem and how do I achieve the problem, we next go with operators, okay? So operators are nothing but the collection of actions that usually uh, takes place for us to reach, reach the goal state, okay? And then when I talk about restrictions, okay? So when you process something, there should be some guidelines or limitation that you have to adhere to solve the problems, okay? So those guidelines or rules are put into this restrictions block, okay? So these are the four important components of problem solving in AI, okay? So the initial state is called as the, uh, the first problem when it occurs that is loaded into the initial state. The idealized final state that actually solves or uh, deals with problem solving is called as the goal state. And then the collection of these actions that can be used to change the state is called as operator. And the guidelines that we follow for uh, processing that particular problem statement is usually referred to as restrictions, okay? So when you take an example of 
playing chess okay so the initial state is moving to the light right or left okay so when i talk about goal state winning okay so winning the game is the goal okay so when i talk about operators moving the pieces on the chessboard is all about operators okay so when i talk about restrictions there are some restrictions on which particular coin to be moved and what condition okay so those are nothing but the restrictions that we put for playing that particular game okay now when i talk about problem spaces in ai okay to set all these potential states actions and transitions that arrive in ai okay when we try to actually solve the problem we have to define this problem space okay so it it actually depicts the whole range of you know of feasible fixes and routes from the starting point to the desired destination okay so basically understand that problem spaces in ai usually refer to distinct areas where challenges arise whether in development deployment okay so each space encompasses a range of issues that can be addressed to make ai systems you know more effective more ethical more beneficial as well okay so basically it is a you know conceptual landscape in which all the points signify various system states and various activities that we actually carry on with okay so when i talk about important components in the problem space we have to understand what is a state we have to understand what is a state space and we have to understand a path okay so when i talk about the state state is nothing but uh, the configuration that could arise within a issue okay so for every scenario we have an issue associated with it okay so that is called as state and when i talk about state space the collection of all the states depending upon the operation sequence that happens okay so that is called as state space and the paths are uh, you know uh, set of states that connect from one state to another state throughout the initial state to the destination okay so states are nothing but simple nodes state space is nothing but collection of all these states and then paths are nothing but the set of states that connect from the starting state to the destination state okay now let's talk about search in ai we have seen what is problem what is problem space and then now let's talk about search in ai okay search in ai usually refers to methods and different algorithms okay that actually explores a problem space to find solution okay so we have a problem we have problem space now we go for searching okay so searching refers to development of some algorithms or method that actually explore this problem space to find solutions and answers okay so in ai search is a fundamental concept that you have to understand that is used for various applications from you know path finding in robotics okay or problem solving in games okay so when i talk about games how do i plan a game how do i you know execute that particular game to win okay so there's a path finding uh, or problem solving solutions in this particular thing okay this is problem space so for solving this problem space or to explore this we go for search in ai okay so the search problem typically involves navigating through a space of possible solutions to identify the best and most suitable one okay so when i talk about uh, ai we have different search algorithms that are usually employed to mathematically uh, you know uh, solve this problem by identifying routes or you know resolutions to fulfill the problem's limitations and goals okay so various logics are used in these algorithms okay so for processing the initial state to reach the final state by solving or by giving the solution to that particular problem we have different algorithms okay so when i talk about search searching is nothing but a step by step procedure okay so within a given search space okay so searching happens step by step okay so there are three main factors that are involved in searching the first one is called as search space okay this actually represents possible solutions which a system may have start state okay it is a state from where the agents actually begin searching the solution okay and then goal test which is nothing but a function which observes the current state and returns to the final state so search in begins search is nothing but all possible solutions start is where the agent actually begins the search and goal test is nothing but the actual uh, test where the search agent receives the goal okay so apart from that we also come across this term called search tree okay so this search space is usually represented as a tree okay 
search problem or search space is usually represented in a tree hence we call it a search tree okay so we have the root which is called root node which is basically the initial node and then finally we have the exit paths which are nothing but our goals okay so action is nothing but the description of all the available actions against the or towards the agent okay so path cost whenever a state is passing through each and every path in that particular tree okay so path cost usually represents a function which will assign a numeric cost to each path okay solution as all of us know once a sequence of action is completed from the start node to goal node we call that as solution okay so we may have multiple solutions but we consider the optimal solution which has the lowest cost okay so each solution is associated with one cost but we usually tend to consider the solution which is called as optimal solution which is nothing but the solution with lowest cost okay so now when i talk about uh, search algorithms okay search algorithms are cat categorized into various group okay so i would like to focus on two important groups of search algorithms one is called as uh, uniformed or blind search algorithms and the second one is called as informed search algorithms okay so we have so many other uh, categories under each of them so the most important algorithms that i would like to focus here are the first one bread first search second one depth first search third one uniform cost search okay so when i talk about bread first search okay so this actually explores all the nodes level by level as i told you so when i talk about a tree we have all nodes level by level so bfs explores all the nodes level by level starting from the root node expanding to all the child nodes and then moving to the next level till it reaches the goal okay so when i talk about depth first search it explores as far down a branch as possible before backtracking focusing on the depth of the tree okay so bfs explores all the nodes level by level but dfs will explore one particular side of the node considering the depth into picture okay so when i talk about uniform cost search it expands the cost least cost node okay so costing is also important right for obtaining the uh, optimal solution right so uniform cost search expands the least cost node useful which are basically useful in finding the shortest path okay so this is all about the uh, uninformed search algorithms okay and the two most important uh, uh, informed or heuristic search algorithms basically these uh, utilizes heuristics or domain specific knowledge to guide the search okay so we have two important algorithms here first one is greedy best first search okay so this uses heuristic function uh, to choose the node that appears closest to the goal okay so focusing on speed rather than accuracy you can go for uh, greedy best first search okay so best first who is reaching first so focusing on speed okay and then we have the next informed uh, search algorithm which is called as a star okay this basically combines cost to search a node and estimated cost to the goal okay so the formula for this is given by f of n that is the function is given by g of n plus h of n where g of n stands for cost of the node cost taken for reaching the node and h of n stands for estimated cost to the goal okay so taking the cost of the goal and estimated we will combine these two together to find a star search algorithm okay so apart from these two we also have uh, iterative deepening okay uh, ida star where you know we have different uh, uh, depth for search algorithms involved along with this cost of the current node and heuristic estimate of the cost next apart from this we also have different categories uh, which comes under other categories like optimization uh, you know adversarial planning and scheduling etc i would like to discuss about three important optimization algorithms today so first one is called as hill climbing search uh, this is basically a local search that continuously moves in the direction of increasing value okay so hoping to find the peak we go for this algorithm okay and then we have genetic algorithms which mimics the natural selection using techniques like mutation and crossover to evolve uh, better solutions okay so it deals with you know 
crossover mutation selection operations with which we can uh, find an optimal solution. And then we have simulated annealing algorithm, uh, which actually introduces randomness to escape local optima uh, by occasionally allowing worse moves. Okay, so it is basically an optimization method that will actually allow occasional moves towards the solution to escape the local minima. Okay, so these are two important search algorithms that we have to understand which we actually use for solving the problem. Okay, so today we have seen what is a problem, what is a sp problem space, what is a search space in AI and what are the different searching algorithms that we have in AI. Thank you so much.